Welcome back to CNET's live coverage of CES 2016. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and joining me today, Kevin Wachaleski from Origin PC. You, sir, have really outdone yourself. You've brought, you've brought us something I've never seen before. Tell us about this all-in-one behemoth. It is called the Origin PC Omni. My God. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah this is our brand new all-in-one. We're calling it the world's most powerful and customizable all-in-one. Okay. It's pretty insane, the amount of power in this very sleek uh, casing. It looks just like a monitor only. It's a 34-inch curved monitor, 3440 by 1440, so you're high resolution. Right. But there's actually a full PC inside of there. Right, so I need everyone to understand that. That is everything. That is the yep. monitor, that is the gaming PC, all packed into that form factor. Yep. Uh, all right, do you want to get into some, well, do you want to get into gameplay now, or what do you want to do, or you want to talk more oh, about sure. the specs? Well, Will we, we just, just run the game show right off now? what we're looking, yeah, let's just see how pretty it plays. So, like you said, inside here is a fully uh, uh, functional gaming PC like you would have on, in, in a desktop experience, right? You have a, uh, a mini motherboard, mini ATX motherboard yeah. in the back there. So tell yeah. us, so tell us like how that works. How are we able to fit that kind of stuff in that form factor? It's pretty amazing. It's like a small form factor PC, but right. inside of a monitor. So you sure. have a mini ITX motherboard, and you have the option of going uh, X99 or Skylake, right. or even Xeon, so for, for professionals. So pretty much any CPU will be compatible with the kind of configuration you would want to put together. Yeah, it's totally customizable and right. totally upgradable, so the user can get in there and they can swap out parts. Okay. It's nothing proprietary. Right. So you have a mini ITX platform, you have an Intel processor, you have an NVIDIA GTX Titan X video card. So you have a Titan X in there you right have a now. Titan X okay. in there that is a pretty heavy smooth. duty uh, graphics yeah. card. Yeah. yeah, extremely high end. You can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. Okay. You can have dual SSDs in uh, RAID 0. Right on. Um, yeah, man, it's insanely fast. I'm super impressed myself. <laughs> Every time you're like, man, this we did this. Like, wow, huh? this is awesome. So in terms of uh, upgrading, because I feel like people see something like this and they're like, oh, this is great, but I'll never be able to go beyond what's in there now. You're saying the path to upgrade is, is doable with this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's an upgrade path available okay. for the user to do it themselves. Sure. But actually, all of our products come with lifetime support and lifetime free labor. Right. So you know what? If you get this unit and you say, I love it, three years later, you're like, you know what? I want to upgrade it but I'm not really sure about taking this puppy apart. It's so beautiful, I don't want to touch it. Yeah. You ship it to us, and we'll do the labor for free. All right, so we'll cool. do all the upgrade, we'll reintegrate it, whatever you need, and then you're on your way again. So tell me, let's take a step back and sort of go uh, into the backstory of how the Omni came to be. What was the path for this to hit the market? What was that like? So as you know, I've been doing gaming PCs for, uh, for quite a long time. For a time. little bit, yeah. yeah. And we've looked at all-in-ones over the years, we've tested a lot of different products, we've seen a lot of products, and never felt that there was something truly powerful, truly sexy, truly customizable. You know, it was always like mobile parts or proprietary parts that were kind of stuck right. in there. Um, but this is the first time we've been working on this for about one or two years that we realized, you know what, we think the world is ready for a really high-end customizable all-in-one, and the, uh, the feedback has been amazing. Everybody loves it, everybody can't wait to get their hands on it. Sure and uh, we'll have it ready this year, Q1. Okay, so let's look at price. Can you give me some of that information now? Like, sure, what, are, well, what are we starting at? Not finalized yet, so okay. you know, if you want to buy one, you can slip me some cash, we'll figure it out. We will work that <laughs> off, uh, off camera, but I no, promise. We're thinking it's going to start around $19.99. Okay. And you know, considering you're getting a 34-inch HD display, sure. it's pretty amazing. So uh, in terms of like a uh, uh, power restriction, how, like how is that managing like what the monitor demands? How does that all come together I I sure. with the hardware? That's a good question. There's yeah. a 45, uh, uh, sorry, 450 watt power supply gotcha. built into the unit. Okay. And there's also a power brick, uh, another 120 watts. So there's just one plug, you don't have to worry about it. You just plug in that one thing like a monitor. You don't really, you can't even tell. So, so there's plenty of power there to run the Titan X, run the RAM, on the processor. Right. And the processor is liquid cooled also. L how's that? How does that happen? So we've that seems dangerous. Yeah. No, not dangerous at all. Okay. Liquids and computers, how could that be dangerous? I know, I know. <laughs> Some people might hear that and be like, oh, that seems like a, a challenge. How does that, yeah. how does that no, come it's together? It's actually a factory sealed uh, liquid cooler. Okay, so, so it's guaranteed. closed loop sort yeah, of situation? Yeah, it's closed loop, never yeah. leaks, never has okay. to be refilled. Great. Uh, totally protected. So that slim unit is in here and it's uh, cooling the, the processor. Excellent. So talk to me a little bit about you know, where, you know, we talked about how this came to fruition, how you guys were working with Intel and, and, and put that together. But in terms of, of, of demand, like where do you see this product fitting into someone who, uh, you know, is, is not really looking for the gaming desktop PC, maybe a laptop's a little underpowered for what they want. Where, where do you see this yeah. falling in there? Yeah, this product is really unique. 
because you can basically put it anywhere. Sure. A lot of other products, you know, whether it's a laptop, you want to take it with you. Um, but if you want something that's just a small form factor, but the screen is built in. So, for example, if you have a dorm room, if you want to put it in the kitchen, if you have a you know a New York pad, that would be an you don't have a lot of space. Accessory. This could go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. And you could, it also has HDMI in and DVI in. Okay. So if you don't have your PC running on one side and HDMI in your satellite TV, whatnot. All right. So it'll you take can more split inputs. screen it down the middle. You can picture in picture. Really? Yeah. So this is also a monitor that can run multiple things at the same time. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, so talk to me about, you said there's an interesting camera loaded up on the back there. What's that about? Yeah, so it comes with a, a USB webcam, you okay. know, your basic cam, but it can be upgraded. Okay. So, so down the line, it's just a USB port on the top. Gotcha. Down the line, we'll have an Intel RealSense camera as well, and, and we'll, we'll keep upgrading that as it goes time. Okay, and, what, and what, is, what do we have here? What is that? Oh, good question. So um, if you want to wall mount this puppy, you can. It oh, has wow. a standard Visa wall mount, so Excellent. you can just mount it on your wall and you know, get rid of the base. Very cool. So I guess, you know, for me, you know, I'm, I'm a, a significantly uh, obsessed gamer. What, you know, what, was this sort of like a, a result of a lot of feedback you got from, from your community? I know the, the PC gaming community is very hardcore, obsessed, very loyal, very opinionated. Yep. W was that part of this sort of uh, research and development process? Well, yeah, gamers always want something high-end, customizable, right. with a good amount of support that they can you know, do different things with. Sure. Our unit will have a customizable backplate. So the backplate will have a window. You can see your components or different colors. Excellent. Um, so gamers, you know, um, they want products that they can tweak, they can upgrade over the years, they can use it to run their games, or professionals want something that can run their high-end equipment. Right. And uh, there's never been an all-in-one that could do that. Sure. So for the first time, you know, we're getting tons of positive feedback. We think it's going to be really exciting, and yeah, people are gravitating towards this product and saying, you know what, I wasn't really interested in all-in-ones all, until now. I've seen this, and that's right. the holy grail of all-in-ones, some For people sure. are saying. So I know this is like the, the, the premiere, the omni, the, the version of, of what we're getting. Is there any sort of thinking that, hey, maybe we don't offer like the super, I know it's got to fit all those components, yep. but is there an idea of like, hey, maybe we'll, we'll sort of change or work with a different size to suit maybe sure. a different need? I'm sure this will evolve, you sure. know, like everything does. Right. Uh, there'll probably be a smaller one at some point. Okay. Uh, but right now, we feel like this is really the sweet spot. Um, curved TVs, you know, some people like them, some people don't, depending. But a curved screen for gaming, every single person that Game tries changer, it is totally sure. immersed, and they're like, wow, I can see more. I feel like I'm more immersed in the game, and I love it. The, yeah, there's something special about the fact that a game will tailor itself to the hardware you have and be able to handle that. A lot of people, you know, were not really buying the hype of, curved TVs for watching television. Yeah. But when it comes to gaming, it's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, it's a single screen, a uh, single person experience most for of the sure. time. Yeah. So you're right there in the middle and you gotta somebody's selfish. creeping up on your left, you can yeah. see them. You gotta, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta be able to snipe them out from when they're coming around the corner. Uh, Kevin, this is fantastic. We should be able to check this out. Q1, you said, right? Yeah, Q1. Um, check out originpc.com okay. and just sign up right there and we'll notify you when it's available. All right, and we're thinking entry level around 1999. Yep. Fantastic. All right, thank you so much for being here. We're going to take a quick break and then Bridget Carey will be back with the Seaboard Rise keyboard. Did I read that right? I don't know, you'll have to find out. Stay with us. <laughs>